So, has creation done its job? So, one half of the statement is right. No contradiction about that. Have you done your job? No. So, the other part is also right. At the same time, I'm saying being upasana because your role in the existence is so small. Everything that happens to you largely is being done to you. Are you spinning the planet? No. Could you live if it di did not spin? Could you live? No. Are you managing the atmosphere? No, you're spoiling it, but you're not managing it. Are you making your heart beat? No. Are you breathing? Everything that's vital to life is happening, isn't it? Your business is just to become receptive to the bounty of life, to know life in its fullest way. If you're willing to be blissful, joyful, do something worthwhile about yourself, or you are willing to do something worthwhile about ten people around you, we will take care of your living also. All you have to do is, to whom? Just the creation. Isn't it big enough to bow down? Isn't it big enough to bow down? Just the creation. On top of that you want one more thing? Isn't creation itself big enough to bow down, I'm asking? Isn't the mountain big enough to bow down? I find even the tree and the uh, ant big enough to bow down because not one of them can we figure. All your intelligence, you can't figure a leaf upon this tree, one leaf. So, just the sheer intelligence of everything that is happening. When you can't figure anything, what do you do? That's all I said. Stay in Upasana because anyway, your role is so minor in this existence that tomorrow morning if you evaporate, no problem. Only if you leave your mess here and go, problem. But if you simply evaporate, no problem for anybody, isn't it? Yes or no? So your role in your own life is so minor, so very minor, everything is being done to you, just everything. So, how can you be the hero? When you have a two-bit role, if you think you are a hero, you're making a serious mistake, isn't it? That's all I'm talking about. I'm not talking about doing any great spiritual sadhana, but if you're… if you live in truth, that is the sadhana, what else? To stop the lies that you're creating, that is all the sadhana. Searching for truth, knowing truth does not mean you have to go in search of it somewhere. It's not hiding behind the mountain, it's on this side, you know. Right now this part of the planet is dark, so will you go looking on the other side? No, it's here. Truth means just this. Whatever there is, is truth. Whatever you have made up is a lie, that's all there is, isn't it? And uh, you being a hero in this existence is your rubbish. It's got nothing to do with reality. So if you understand that, you understand you have a very minor role in the existence, not just in the making of the existence, in your own life. Even if something as simple as breath or heartbeat is left in your hand, you will be a complete mess within a minute. Yes or no? So, I'm not saying anything new, not a teaching, just reminding you the reality of what your life is. And that's all living in truth means, that you're not made up anything. You're not writing your own story, you're, tr you're trying to live life. If you live life, you can only live it the way it is. Only if you make up a story, you can make your own story, isn't it? If you are doing fiction, 
you can make it up the way you want. If you're living life, you can live life only the way it is. There is no other way to live. So do not think it's some kind of a teaching. That's how life is. Just live it, don't make up any story. If you make up an, a story which is not true and believe it is true, when your script comes to an end, then you'll be at loss because there's nothing. <laughs> if you go with reality, it is on, whether you're alive or dead, it's on. You being with it is the safest way to be, best way to be. That's the only way you can experience life. Otherwise, you will experience the treachery of your own words, nothing else. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video about living truthfully and accepting your reality. Sadhguru has given us insightful knowledge on what it means to be a hero and the significance of living truthfully. We hope that watching this movie has opened your eyes and given you the motivation to begin your quest for honesty. Never forget that starting is never too late and that it's good to be a work in progress. We may change ourselves and our life by making little moves towards living in truth. Let the teachings of Sadhguru serve as a wake-up call for you to take control of your reality and lead a happy life. We sincerely hope this video was helpful to you and we cordially encourage you to peruse more of Sadhguru's teachings on our channel. To receive notifications of our next videos, don't forget to click the notification bell and subscribe buttons. We appreciate you being a member of our community and hope to see you soon. Namaskaram.